G'day everybody, it's the Captain. Welcome back to the channel. A big thank you of course to each and every one of you that like and subscribe to these videos and you share them around the world with all of your buddies, all of your pals and all of your mates. And as the voice of the voiceless, let me tell you about today's video. Deputies are on Pinhead Patrol when they notice a vehicle parked at the back of a Walmart car park and seeing as it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning, they think it's a silly billy stupid face up to no good or one of the Transformers are back on crack. So they go and have a little bit of a look-see and they find a woman who chooses to be about as helpful as a feminist in a sandwich factory and she proves to law enforcement that she indeed is dumber than trying to fix a broken tooth by deep throat and a vibrator. I wonder how the crime crushers will handle this one, eh? Let's have a look. Hey. Yo. Hey. How you doing? Hi. So real quick, my name is Deputy Barry Answers with the Sheriff's Office, okay? Just letting you know our interaction is audio and video recorded. Okay. Uh, the reason I'm pulling you, or I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. The reason we're stopping out with you, ma'am, is because of where you're parked out in front of a closed business. Oh, yes, ma'am. So. Is that 24 hours? No. So, what you're doing right now is not normal for the law. It's not a place where a normal law abiding citizen will be present at. Okay. Okay. So, can you do me a favor, please? Yeah. Uh, whenever he instructs you, can you step out of the car, please? Why am I stepping out of the car? I'm sorry? Why am I stepping Because we're out? telling you. But why are you telling me to step out? Because you need to identify yourself. So right now you're detained, right ma'am. You're loitering and prowling. So step out of the car. I'm not loitering. Yes, you are. Because you're out in front of a closed business. Okay. So can you step out of the car, please, before we make you step out of the car? It is fucking clearer than a stripper stiletto that the deputies didn't come here to penetrate a parakeet in private. They have explained that where you are parked and the fact that the store is closed is more sus than a Kevin Spacey themed play centre. They want you to get out of your mobile sperm bank deposit box so they can identify you. But seeing that you understand that the same way that Frankenstein understood the rules of the bodybuilding competition, you've only got one choice in this and that is to get out of the car and shut the fuck up. Hi, so far. 2205. Okay, you, you need to step out of the car before we make you step out of the car. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, you're going to go to jail. I'm not going to go to jail. Yes, you are. Okay. Okay. La dejé ahí en el medio. Ma'am, ma'am, you need to get out of the car. You're going to go to jail. I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> now, move. But no, I done no, done you need wrong. it. We're giving you a lawful command to step out of the car. I'm hey, sorry, my okay, that has. Uh, thank you for your service, but right now we're dealing with this situation, okay? There is no situation. Yes, there is. We're creating a situation. All you got to do is tell me to move. No, no. You're going to move. You're going to move after we're done talking to you. That vehicle's over there. Right. We're going to go talk to them as well. We're going to go talk to them as well, okay? So right now I need you to step out of the car. I'm not stepping out because I haven't done anything wrong. Ma'am, he There's explained... No listen, just listen. He already explained to you. You're loitering and prowling. You're in a closed business when you shouldn't be, okay? I'm not the only one. Well, we're okay. we're here one at a time, right? Okay. Well, okay. Tell me to move. Listen. Like no, no, no. So you, you you have to make this easier for us. No. You have to, no, ma'am. I haven't done anything. So now we're giving you lawful commands, and you're resisting our lawful I'm not commands. Resisting anything, ma'am. You're gonna go to jail. I'm not gonna go to jail. Don't go to jail over something stupid. I've not done anything wrong. All I'm doing is in a spot where it's closed, and all you gotta do is tell me. To no, we we don't have to do that. We have to further so investigate the situation. For what? Because that's what we get paid for. Okay, ma'am, you need to step out of the vehicle. I'm not stepping out. Well, you'll be listen. Wrong. You're going to be put under arrest for LMP and resisting. Okay. I we're going to make this worse because wrong. we're going to break the glass. We're going to have to get you out of the car. Then break the glass and do what you got to do. I haven't done anything wrong. 
all the deputies want to fucking do is investigate what is going on. But you want to make it more difficult than trying to crack an egg in your own asshole. You don't just have to be told to just move along. They need to know who the fuck you are first. And if you weren't acting like a horse with herpes, you could have been on your fucking way by now. But no, let's flap about like an eagle with epilepsy for a little bit, because that's going to fucking help. Help in the same way that dipping your dick into a golfer hole irrigates the soil. Fucking hell, Tracy Chapman's stunt double best unfuck herself before Team No Fuck throat punches her so hard that her pubic hair will fucking dreadlock. You gonna break my vehicle because I'm sitting here. I thought this was a 24 hour spot. There's people here all night long. Okay. Are you giving me a hard time? I'm not yeah, bothering you. You're not the, the, you're the third person we talked to, okay? Well. I don't care. Don't make this difficult. No, it's not difficult. Tell me to move, and I'll move. I didn't know it was a, was a, wasn't a 24-hour spot. Do you have ID on you? No. Why not? So now you're failing to identify I don't yourself. I need to have ID on me. Yes, you do. I can tell you what I'm not. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a... I don't know that. I don't know you. Well, I'm talking... ID yourself, and then we could determine if you're a criminal or not. No, I'm not a criminal. You know I'm not a criminal. Ma'am, we don't know you. Well... I'm telling you. So why is the reason you want to step out? What? Why don't you want to step out? Because I don't want to step out. I haven't done anything wrong. Uh, You're treating me so like a criminal. So one more time. You're detained. No, I'm not We're giving detained. you lawful orders. You I'm have to step out. I'm not detained and I've done nothing yeah, wrong. Yeah, unlock the car door. I'm not unlocking it. If y'all break okay, my glass, then I'll just report it. What did you it. say? What did you say? Do not touch my vehicle. There's no reason for you to. This came back to a Volkswagen? This is not a Volkswagen. This is not a this is a BMW, it's not a Volkswagen. What color? What color? What state is it from? Pennsylvania. Oh. So yeah, I'm from Pennsylvania. So now we have another problem. There is. Why do you have a different a tag attached to the car? Now let me ask you something. Pennsylvania is a two plate state. Where's your front plate? No, it's not. It's not? No, it is not. New Jersey and New York is in, in other cities, not Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is not a two plate state? No, it's not. Okay, so when they were. One two five. Can you six five of him? Temper. Also, I put this van in the VIN decoder, and it says 2019 Volkswagen Jetta. If it has the model on there, go ahead. It's put not, your van. You can clearly see this is a BMW. Yes, they can fucking see that it's a BMW, which is why having a plate that comes back to a Volkswagen Jetta is more shiftier than seeing a butcher shop inside a veterinary clinic. I'm never sure why these pimples on the ass of progress like her think that arguing with law enforcement officers are going to make things better for them. Do they think if they just carry on like a molested oyster that the cops will just fucking leave? You have a better chance getting flying lessons from JFK Jr. than that happening. Stop acting like shitting out a pine cone today was the fucking highlight of your life and get the fuck out of your car! This okay. is not a Volkswagen. This could be W Whiskey, B Bravo, A Alpha, B Bravo, D Delta, 534, 95, Papa, Delta, 99241. What's your first name, darling? You know, tell me. Marine is my first name. Is so, Marine? so mine is Army? All these empty cars. I tell you, my first name's Christian, not Army. My first name is Marine. Marie? My last name is Marine. Marine Marine. Marine Marine. Why are y'all harassing me? Well, 
We're out with people that shouldn't be at a place that is closed for business. Well, so you tell them to move and that's it? No, that's not how it works in the state. Doesn't doesn't work that way in this well, county. Well, I tell you what, I've been here for a few hours now, okay. and I have haven't seen you guys. Okay. And I didn't see y'all following well, nobody what? else. Guess what? Me there and him are the only two deputies that cover this whole entire area. And I've never okay. seen you guys. Okay. And I've, that's fine. This is the first time this has happened. Okay. I drove by here the uh, just a few hours ago. And I was here. I was okay. crocheting, and I bought something in there. So you didn't wrap through, you didn't come down this road. Well, you saw me. This vehicle has been here for a couple days. Got out of Florida. Kind of found kind of 2005. This is a BMW. Is that you, Leslie? My name is Marie. All right, so here's the other thing now. You, you made things worse. This this tag is not assigned to this vehicle. This tag is assigned to this it's vehicle. Not. It's not. All Pennsylvania. Th and that that tag is assigned to a Volkswagen Jetta no. with a different number than we just ran. How did you get this no. car? How did I what? Where'd you where'd you when did you get this car? What do you mean when did I get it? Um, I'm asking you. How long have you had the car? Oh no! Seems sheep fingering Fiona might be in a little bit of trouble. And I'm not talking about her period being late type of trouble, which I'm sure has happened to her more times than she's changed panties. I reckon she has wasted more seed than Michael J. Fox at a fucking bird feeder. Repeating the question back to law enforcement is up there with trying to show Andrea Bocelli your fucking holiday photos level of dumb. It shows the cop that your brain works about as fast as a steam-powered dildo. Do, do you think that the deputies are just making shit up to talk to you? They would rather be balls deep into a packet of Skittles so they can taste each other's rainbows than dealing with you right now. Why? Okay. Um, ma'am, we're, we're very close to breaking the window, so... Well, then, hey, I recommend that you not, and okay. I mean, hey. Okay. And you're refusing to identify yourself. I don't have to. Yeah, you do now. No, I do not. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Listen, we're not going to sit here and argue. You, I don't have to identify no? myself. What, what are you saying? It's up to you. I'm a Marine. That's what I am. That's who I am. When did you get discharged? In 2021, oh, December 5th. And why are you living out of your car? I'm not living out of my car. So why are you sleeping here? Because I'm tired. Where do you live? Everywhere. So you're I've a world wanderer? Yes, I am. You got insurance? I've got everything. Well, I need to... But you what need... I don't have. You're going to provide that? I am not. You're going to refuse? I'm not giving anything up. I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't created well, any problems. No, we haven't. You got... There's like 30, 40 cars out here. Yeah, and we're hitting every single one. We already talked to two people already. Mm-hmm. You got a camper right there. Oh, we're getting there. You this got person. All this stuff right there. All those cars were next. Mm-hmm. But y'all want to give me a hard time. I don't bother nobody. You, you take your number. You got the solicitors out there, them people take... in wheelchairs, homeless people. They sit outside there all Yeah, we're, we're dealing with the homeless as well. Why are you not trying to come out of that car? That man said I was hostile. I'm not being hostile. Okay, are you going to come out of the car for me? No, I'm not. Oh, shit. They have called in deputy don't fucking test me, and he's brought his fiery semen spray rifle, and he's just finished kicking koalas too, so he's looking for a reason to fling his load into your face like a well-timed bakaki birthday party. You, you fucking running your mouth right now is like walking naked backwards through a cornfield. Just a pain in the ass. Yes, there are other cars and homeless fucks floating around everywhere, and the cops said that they are going to deal with them as well, but that is about as relevant to your interaction as knowing the phases of the moon is relevant to munching on fucking minge. Not fucking at all. So before you cop a load to the eye like an eager prom date, you best start following direction. Fucking hell, I'm sure you add 11 herbs and spices before you suck on a dick, don't ya? Don't ya? Okay, so you're gonna make me use force on you. Why would you do that? You have a warrant for your arrest. 
Really? Yes. Oh, I've never been arrested in my life. So, supposedly you have a warrant for your arrest. A warrant for my arrest? Yes. Yes. Are you willing to step out of the vehicle? No. No? Okay. Okay, I am asking you, I'm giving you a lawful order, step out of the vehicle. A lawful order? Correct. Sure. To step out of the vehicle. Why? Because you have a warrant for your arrest. Okay. Now this all started, he said, because I was speaking. Okay. And when I told him that there were other people. You're allowed to do that. But the, the manager doesn't want you out here. Well, that's what we just learned. You you spoke with the manager already, correct? Okay. The manager has said you are not allowed to sleep out here. Okay? But now we know you have a warrant. So you are not free to leave. You will be arrested, and I will break this window and have your, tow, your car towed. Of course she has a fucking warrant. In other news, water is wet. The sky is blue and mice fuck missionary style. Don't you hate it when the cops do their fucking job? The manager has said for you to fuck off. So hanging around the car park was your first mistake. The second mistake was not complying with the cops. And the third was looking like fucking Chris Tucker in drag. You're done. Deputy don't fucking test me has put on his gloves. Because when the gloves are shown, bodies get thrown. Speaking about getting thrown around though, Kate Dennings was over here today and she threw me so hard into her tits that I couldn't even motorboat her. I had to do the old submarine on her. That was before I up Periscope, by the way. Okay. Uh, I think Adrian, because I, I have less lethal, he has lethal. Uh, Adrian, come on this side. Are you gonna step ma'am, do not, stop. ma'am, stop. Listen, I gotta stop reaching. I'm gonna put my stop phone. reaching. Everybody on this side. Listen, Everybody on this side. This is a sock. Okay. It's a sock. I'm not hurting anybody. Put your hands on the dash. I can give it to her in that window right there. I just don't want to take. No, I can give it to her right now in the window. Okay. Why would you? Why would you? Coming out. You're you're gonna be exposed to chemical munitions. Why would you do you know what a pepper spray is? NBC. Why would you do that? I got 20 years in the Marine. Why would you hit me with NBC? Okay. Why would you do Step that? out of the vehicle, or you're gonna be pepper balled. You want to pepper ball? Yes. I'm, I'm requesting you very nicely. Very nicely, I've, a, I re, I've requested. Can I put my sock on my left foot? Yes or no? Are you gonna come out of the vehicle? Can I put my sock, it's the sock. Are you coming out of the vehicle? I think my foot is cold. Are you gonna come out of the vehicle? If I let you put your sock on, are you gonna come out of the vehicle? No one gives a crocodile's cock about your sock right now. We all know that you put it on your hand so it feels like you're being finger blasted by a lumberjack when you rub your labia lamp. And look, I'm fucking sorry that your job as a ring card girl at the dwarf tossing contest fell through, but don't take your anger out on these poor deputies, these poor fucks. They wanted to be back at the station by now, betting on which homeless hooker was about to piss out a watch, and you are stopping that enjoyment. Now, I'm not sure about anyone else, but if law enforcement aim their shit like that through my window, I would be paying very close attention to whatever the fuck they were asking. But instead, she wants to make things harder than a honeymooner's first fuck. And we all know where this is gonna head. We all fucking know it. She ain't getting out of the car by choice, so she's got no choice but to play fuck around and find out. Pepper, pepper ball her. Come on. I want more than that. Come out of the vehicle. All right, that's good. Come out of the vehicle. Okay, get ready to take this window. That's extreme. Why 
Why would you do that? Get out of the car. Hands, hands, hands. Get out of the car. You don't have to. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Ow. You made right. me. Nice and easy. You made me pee on myself a little bit. And you broke my chin. You don't have to do that. Why is such unnecessary force? Why such unnecessary force? I gave you ample opportunity. But you don't have to be this forceful. There's no reason for it. It's Where's your knife at? It's in my left pocket, like I said. It's so I can cut the wood. It's in my left pocket. I know you feel it. <coughs> Do you feel it? It's in my left pocket. The pockets run deep. Do you have it? <coughs> It may have fallen out. Okay. Lift your leg <laughs> to your butt. I can't lift the left one. It's swollen. That's why I have a brace on it. Okay. I can only lift the left one. I can't lift this. I can't bend this one. Okay. You're going to come to the left, okay? fucking brilliant <laughs> he fired just the one shot and deputy don't fucking test me was like fuck no i want more than that <laughs> and then then they fucking busted out her window and she took that like a fucking champion like she's used to taking big blasts to the face i mean her fucking stepdad has taught her very well and i bet he's fucking proud watching this too <laughs> he's like that's my girl <laughs> Just like it, mum. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Yeah, look at it. Didn't even close an eye. Good girl. Well done. <laughs> oh, and the fucking cops had to use a little bit more force there because she's built like a fat farmer's horse. So they're like, get out of the fucking car. <laughs> I bet you she's had more cocks than a street thug's handgun. <laughs> this way. This way. This way. I can't roll on my late knee. <clears throat> okay. Well, I need you to. Okay. What leg bends good? This one. That I, one bends good? I can't bend this one. It's, it's, it's swollen. Okay, we're going to sit up. I'm trying to move some glass so you don't get all cut up on Well, it's a little late for that. <coughs> Did you get the knife? It may That's have fallen out. I don't know. Check the, check the knife <coughs> right there. Okay, we're going to get up. One. Two, three. Take her, take her that way. Yep. Come on, come on. Can't walk on this thing. This way. Not? You're, you're gonna have it's to walk, swollen. or you're gonna get drugged. We don't want to drag you. Walk on your own feet. I, I can't wait on this one. Yeah. Oh, you gotta, you yeah, gotta wrap the wood to collect the uh, wood. Yeah, I make stuff with wood. Wait a minute. I'm just gonna hop. Right here. I'm just gonna hop. Yeah. 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 Okay, just stand and lean forward, okay? I got it. You got it? Yep. <clears throat> You guys have rapid ID or anything? No, sir. I do not. Did you uh, ID her with the picture? Yes, yes. sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She also uh, yeah. gave me some demographic information, like the age she joined. From the side. Yeah. Is it um? Okay. Okay. I joined the Marines in '98. 24, 25 years old. Can I play the Are those you want to take a picture? <laughs> Anything hurt besides your pre existing uh, knee? No, I'm good to go. What's your first name? Marine. You can say her name is Marine. 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 Uh, her name is Leslie. I'm just Leslie. going to lay down because this is hurting. We use uh, David. <laughs> 
she was grunting worse than William Shatner taking his shit. All of this could have been a lot fucking easier than scoring some sex at a keg party, but you just wanted to be a dumb fuck. <laughs> so get your scorecard out and jot this one down. Marine Marine, the fucking penis queen, was done for two counts of resisting, plus whatever the fuck the other warrant was, and she got 30 days, and Big Bertha got to give her the old Jodie Foster foreplay treatment. So fucking high fives all round there, I say. On that note, it does bring us to the end of another great video. I hope you've had a bit of fun. I hope you've had a bit of a laugh. I hope you've taken your shirt off, got naked if you want, hit that like and subscribe button. And now that you've done all that, now you can go run a naked down the street, find your nearest cruise ship, climb on board the cruise ship, go up to whoever the captain is of the cruise ship and say, permission to fucking come aboard, captain. And because I'm a fucking captain, I'm giving you the fucking approval anyway. So if he goes, well, no, I don't think that's a fucking good idea. You'd be like, well, fuck you. And other captain said it was. He's not just a captain. He is the captain. So fuck you. I'm coming aboard, whether you like it or not. And he'd be like, okay, yeah, sure. Why are you coming aboard? And you'd be like, that's none of your fucking business. But since you've asked, you should probably watch this video. And I want to show every fucker on the cruise ship this video how's the best way to make that happen and he'll be like well we could probably use the emergency broadcast system and you'll be like that is a fucking great idea look I'm sorry that I came across so aggressive when I came on board but it's just really important that I come on board and show everyone this video so they can all fucking enjoy it and who knows what might fucking happen and he'll be like I'm pretty sure I know exactly what's going to happen because I fucking have seen this video as well and I fully fucking endorse exactly what's about to happen because as soon as soon as we play this video through the emergency broadcast system, every fucker on this cruise ship is going to be like, let's have an orgy! And there's going to be like a cha-cha-cha-cha-cha, fuck! Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha, fuck! On one of those big conga lines of fucking sex and there's tits and dicks and shit going everywhere and you should be pretty fucking proud of yourself because you started that and who knows, you might just get some money. But I better get going, I'm supposed to have a few beers with fucking Terry again. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Terry. <laughs> he fucking rings me yesterday and he's all in a half and a puff and I'm like, how you going, Terry? And he goes, well, I have fucking something to tell you. I said, hit me with it, Terry. What's going on? You sound flustered. What's got you so upset? And he goes, well, I fucking came home yesterday and my girlfriend was in bed having sex with my fucking best friend. Like, whoa, shit. Hold the phone. First off, I thought I was your best friend. And secondly, that's horrible, Terry. What happened? He goes, well, I fucking came home from work. I was out in the fucking fields, plowing some fucking fields, milking some fucking goats, feeding the fucking chickens. And then I've come home expecting that I could have a few fucking beers and just relax. And I walk into my fucking bedroom and there she was with my best friend fucking doing it doggy style. Like, oh, man, no one ever wants to see that. Tell me, what did you fucking do? And he goes, well, I did what fucking anyone would do. And I said to her, I said, listen here, you fucking bitch. You pack your shit and you get the fuck out of the house. I said, yeah, okay, well, what did you do about your best friend? He goes, well, I grabbed him by the fucking scruff of the neck and I dragged him into the fucking yard and I looked him dead in his eyes and I said to him, I said, bad dog. <sighs> fucking hell, Terry. All right, hooroo.